dang, I just missed her. But um, this narcissist, this abusive narcissistic bully bus driver, um, immediately after I got off the bus, um, and that's a perk with strange headlights and a black Lincoln. So this um. Look, three white vehicles in a row. And that's um a car with um no tail lights at night. Damn. So that's bus 1712. Um come on man. And, and then they just created a noise harassment on purpose to hold me back from saying what I need to say. But the narcissistic bus driver, um, oh, that's the freaking loud car. So, um, the bus driver, it's like, she bullies, they always, you know, they said that if a target takes a bus, um frequently on a certain route they always have the gang stalking bus drivers for the target so this bus driver as i said people do not on a day-to-day -day basis people do not be saying that i stink i'm funky only people with narcissistic personalities who just want to offend me so she probably just did what she did um she probably just did what she did as more like kind of directed conversation kind of um you know from the tranny telling me you stink so what this bitch did was she immediately after i got off the bus what she did was she um and i had just missed her i almost tr almost succeeded at catching her in the act but i had to adjust my phone and stuff so and she, how the hell was she able to smell me how was she able to smell me with wearing two or three masks on so she was smelling me while she was wearing two or three masks i don't know how she was able to do that and so then she sprayed and sanitized. Hold up. I even put a trash bag over the seat. You know, like I usually do. And look, strange tail lights. Come on. So what she did was she cleaned and sanitized the seat where I was at. And I put a, a black trash bag over the seat. And she almost didn't let me do that. And she tried to pull off real fast on purpose to try to set me up to slip and fall. When the bus drivers are supposed to wait until after the passenger sits down. Then pull off. But they rushed me, you know. So, um, so, yeah, as I said, on a day to day basis, people don't be trying to, you know, offend me and tell me you stink and stuff like that. But, um, maybe she just wanted to be evil. But, um, but I have OCD and I'm a, ve I'm a very clean person, but the gang stalking network set parameters to force me to not be able to take a shower anywhere. And guess what? 
Today is, I'm going to tell TMI since y'all forced me to be on the damn streets and can't I can't get a shower. So, yeah, today is the um, second day of me menstruating. I'm going to tell TMI, today is the second day of me menstruating on my period, you know? And I'm forced to be out here against my will. Hadn't had a shower in five days. You know, it usually would take two or three weeks before people to start to think, say, oh, you stink. But I sat somewhat towards the front of the bus, not the very front, but the front half of the bus. And she sprayed the bus. She sprayed an air freshener on the bus from front to back. As I said, she just wanted to be evil. You know, all the bus, the bus I rode this morning, they didn't, the bus driver didn't do that. You know, and I asked people earlier if they thought I stunk. They said that they either ain't worried about it or, you know, but I try to keep clean with what I have. So there's the fake loud new music. I got to be forced to turn it off. Wait, hold on. Let me pause it. All right. It's fake music everywhere. They got the blast on our music like as if it's Friday or Saturday. But hardly anybody out here. But the other day, I was trying to sanitize my hands and that same bus driver aggressively tried to demand the answer for what is that you're spraying? So it's okay for her to spray stuff. You know, but as I said, I protected, I actually, you know, didn't want to sit on the seats because the seats, the seats be dirty anyway. I mean, I didn't, I, I mean, I, I, it's like I felt uncomfortable sitting on the seat, you know, because the seats are dirty, you know, and I can't, the gang stalkers are forcing me to not get a shower, you know, and then so that they can. Idiot. Perp retard, retarded perp idiot, I meant to say. And see, he, he, he tried to bump into me on purpose. I would have pushed him. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I said, well, and Star Bricker, she falsely tried to say that, oh, Candy wets on herself. And so she admitted that she puts a, um, a trash bag so she wouldn't contaminate the seats. No, I, um, when I haven't gotten to have a shower in a long time, when I get in somebody's personal Uber, I put the, um, sometimes, you know, put the, um, a trash bag over the seat in the Uber because, um, because I don't want to mess up, I mean, you know, their car, you know, smelling bad. So I put, I protect it with a trash bag. And also on me and my twin sister's birthday, they had a narcissistic Uber driver, perp Uber driver named Juan Velez. And um, he had like a, a white Mazda SUV. And he secretly, I mean, before then I haven't got to have a shower in nine days. So he secretly 
sprayed like I saw and thought I was he tried to be discreet with it but I caught on to what he was trying to do and I asked him if I smelled bad and he lied and said no and basically and it was the air conditioner was ice cold freezing freezing so cold I thought it would have been impossible for him to smell me but I was on my way to getting to take a shower you know at the hotel and I took two showers I took a double shower and I was on like almost there at the hotel before I realized that the um I was almost there at the hotel before I realized that my that I didn't have my phone in my possession and I didn't realize that the phone had um you know I didn't realize that the phone had um you know I didn't realize that the phone was gone and then I found out that the phone was at the library and then the next day um the next day um I was able to get the phone but then it conked out on me and quit working period so see remember after that incident with the police officer ever since Sunday So where am I going to get to sleep at then? I don't know who's the owners and I don't know what this business is about to be, but if I weren't sleeping over here, there wouldn't be that construction over there and they wouldn't have this sold sign on here. That's another covert way to get rid of me. Um, and so I don't make to make sure I don't have a sleep spot. And so I need to get permanent housing fast. And hopefully I wish before October because, um, you know, see this bottle of water right here? I mean, this um, case of water. I couldn't take it with me. And the perps that work at O'Reilly's, one of them had dropped them off. And so I, I couldn't take it with me. You know, so I had to leave it here. But I guess she, after I wrote down her license plate the other day, I don't know if it was the same perp or a different one, but one perp was filming me with her phone, and so I took down her license plate and described the car. And um, but I think it was a different person. I don't know if it was the same girl, and. The perp was filming me Sunday, and so then last night, I, I don't know if that was the same perp that felt ashamed, and so went to drop off a case of water. So as I was saying that, the other sleeping, there, there they go, perp employees. So, um, and then they, they, they see me, so they getting louder. So, um, so the, um, my other sleeping bag got stolen. And so then Sunday, somebody dropped me off a, 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 a red and gray sleeping bag. So I figured, dang, if people figure I ain't had nothing else, I got to be forced to have a red sleeping bag. And so I was trying to figure out if she was deliberately did that as a way of perping me or if the business that she works for, if she was trying to represent the color red because that's what they represent or if or she was trying to perp me. So I, I said, well, is your favorite color red? And so she said, she got defensive and said, is your favorite color red? I mean, no, I said, is, is, is red your favorite color? And then she got defensive and said, is red your favorite color? And I said, no, it's purple. And so she's like, oh, well, you should have told me that then. And I don't know why she would get so snappy and defensive if she wasn't a perp, you know? 
if she offered to give me like a um put together a, I guess a belated birthday care package and so my other sleeping bag got, got stolen so I got this sleeping bag and as I said it's and so now this sleeping bag I got to be forced to carry it around everywhere you know but anyway I got to go for now and try to get settled and I got a lot more stuff to tell y'all but I'm gonna try to get me some rest and I'll try to tell y'all tomorrow but what they doing hanging out hanging over here though the over on these employees y'all supposed to be at work but it's so early it's 8 32 p.m and I, I so i'm about to go right now i think they scattered away just that quick the moment i zoomed in them now they just straight up disappeared